Ma'am, shall I start, ma'am? I start, ma'am. Yes, proceed. A very warm and a very warm and wonderful afternoon to one and all present here. I am Kartika K. Very much glad and humble to invite you all to the online seminar on environmental crisis and overview. Now, let us start our event with the blessings of our Almighty. It's time for prayer. ஒன்று ஒன்று 
The world is full of diamonds and gems and we are having some of them here today to build this event. With this note, I would like to give my heartiest welcome to our chief guest, Dr. M. Jai Kumar sir, our beloved principal, Dr. G. Prema Sundari ma'am, our twinkling teachers and my dear friends, once again welcome you all. We need all your support to make this event memorable and fantastic. Now I would like to call upon our beloved principal, Dr. G. Prema Sundari ma'am, to deliver a welcome address on this wonderful event. Okay. A warm greetings to one and all present here. I, Dr. G. Lakshmi Sai, on behalf of Chellamma Women's College, proudly welcome you all for this one-day seminar on World Environmental Day, organized by SAP team, Chellamma Women's College. It's not just merely words, but our heartfelt feeling filled with emotions add flavor to welcome you all. Star shines at night, but the biggest star shines brightest during the day, which is the sun. It's our pleasure to welcome one such star, Dr. M. Jaikma, sir, Honorable Chief Guest of today's function. A man with great vision and mission, an icon for hard work. Dr. Jaikma sir working as the assistant professor in the Department of Geology, University of Madras. He has completed MSc PhD DCT. Sir has 20 years of research experience in the field of entomology. Sir is having 8 years of PG and MPhil experience in University of Madras. He guides MPhil and PhD students. He completed 4 projects and 2 projects are ongoing. He has done 57 publications in various journals. He has invited lectures and acts as resource person in Science City and Department of Geology, Chennai. He has written two textbooks and published 15 papers. 
he is one of the board of studies member in department of zoology at ln government college ponneri tiruvallur and gurunanak college chennai he is a member in 18 different universities throughout india sir attended various professional training programs and he presented papers in 28 national and international seminars he has achieved many awards like young scientist award academic achievers award etc i welcome you sir welcome madam and respectfully welcome our principal dr g prem sundari ma'am chellamal women's college who has been the pillar behind this event i welcome you ma'am my genial welcome to all our guest invitees from various institutions i extend my welcome to all faculties non teaching members volunteers students participants research scholars who have all gathered here to grace this occasion once again i welcome you all thank you thank you ma'am it's pleasure to hear more about our chief guest now it's time to hear environmental crisis from the words of our chief guest dr m jay kumar sir yes very good evening to one and all present here first of all i would like to thank the organizing committee sap committee members for giving me the opportunity to present uh, my views on environment and uh, on behalf of uh, the principal and uh, the sap team i would like to extend uh, extend my uh, gratitude and also uh, i am gratefully thankful to dr g lakshmi sai who is the uh, responsible person for uh, organizing this uh, today's one day national seminar very long back probably four months back itself uh, she has been discussed with me and uh, confirmed uh, my presence and uh, my participation in this national seminar and also for i uh, once again thankful to dr lakshmi sai for giving me a wonderful welcome address and introducing me in a brightful manner so hopefully i will try to uh, give you a overview of my, my talk with uh, for another 45 to uh, one hour so shall i share my slide yes yes sir yes yes sir. Yes sir. Is it visible? Yeah, it's visible. Visible. Yes, yes. Okay, very very good evening to one and all present here. Today I am going to discuss about the topic entitled uh, Environmental Crisis and Overview. So I am Dr. M. Jay Kumar, Assistant Professor, University of Madras. Uh, going to give a brief introduction about the environmental crisis. Whether the slide is moving? Can you hear me? No, no, no. What about now? Yeah, it's very clear. Whether it is mo moving, that's I want to know. Moving? Not moving. No, no, sir, not moving. Yeah, okay.
What about now? Sir. It's clear, sir. Whether my slide is moving? Moving, moving, moving. Ah, okay, okay. So today, the SAP teaming team. One second. Yeah, okay. So today, the SAP team is organizing the one-day national seminar. It is because of, uh, it's a part of World Environment Day celebration. Every year, uh, there will be a celebration is conducted throughout the world to protect our environment on 5th June exactly. Uh, but the whole week and or the whole month also, sometimes it will be conducted. So this year, uh, the Chellamal College is organizing this one-day national uh, seminar on behalf of the World Environment Day on little uh, three, five days before itself. So it's a part of a World Environment Day. So before going to my topic, why we need to conduct the World Environment Day and what is the meaning for World Environment Day. So let us have a brief introduction. Uh, it is a World Environment Day is the biggest awareness campaign launched in the year 1972 uh, in United Nations uh, during the first day of uh, Stockholm Conference on Human Environment. That was the, uh, the initial date uh, during 1972. But anyhow, two years later, in the year 1974, the first World Environment Day was held with the theme of only one year and it has been conducted annually every year from uh, 1974 onwards so every year they are uh, the world environment uh, health team which is actually uh, organizing a uh, one day that means uh, the world environment day with one caption so initially it was started with only one year and every year it has been continued uh, it is because of it is the largest uh, global platform for environmental public outreach and celebrated by millions of people across the world. So let us go for the history. As I already told, uh, in the year 1974, the first World Environment Day, uh, day was uh, held with uh, the theme called Only One Year at uh, United States. Then 75, 76, 77, 78, uh, like that. So there will be every year there will be a conducted the World Environment Day with a caption to promote or to give some kind of awareness to a specific uh, subject. For example, in the year uh, 2018, uh, beat plastic pollution was the uh, caption uh, that is mo motto which was held uh, in New Delhi, India. So India was the responsible for the whole year 2018 to conduct the World Environment Day international level and uh, make some kind of uh, policies notes, policy notes and uh, preparing awareness to the public, children public as well as school, school colleges and other uh, NGO centers. Like that, uh, last year it was held with the theme of ecosystem restoration uh, through Pakistan. And uh, this year, 2022, it was again uh, with a theme of only one year, the World Environment Day 2022 was a, a theme with only one year. Let us take care of it because we are having only one year. There are a lot of stars are there so that we can able to, if there is any loss, we can also have some kind of alternate. But there is a only one year. We have to live, we have to breathe, we have to drink all kind of activities based upon this only one year. So let us, we have to. Uh, take care of this. The theme only one year. Uh, it is a historic milestone for the United Nations Environmental Program that is shortly called as UNEP. So it is actually almost uh, this is the 50th uh, anniversary celebrating that UNEP uh, at the Stockholm Conference because uh, 50 year back uh, during the 1974 the same uh, theme was conducted only one year again since because it is the 50th anniversary the again the motto was repeated once again so that we have to make the environment very clean clean and healthier 
to live sustainably with human and uh, other animal uh, which is pre present in the environment so that was the motto for the world environment day so this is a small brief history about the world environment day let us go to the topic uh, environmental crisis so before going to see the environmental uh, crisis topic we can see that the environment up to 19th century how the environment was uh, uh, actually was uh, present before the 19th century that means we can see that uh, there are uh, glaciers present in the north pole and which the, the glaciers is responsible for uh, giving uh, pure uh, drinking water sources for the whole world so continuously it is supplying the pure water and uh, oxygen and other kind of beautiful environment which are all given uh, the early 90s then you can see that the mountains which is actually very clean green uh, and uh, which is also a source of uh, snow and which, uh, from that we can able to get uh, a lot of uh, water reservoirs from that uh, mountains we can get uh, strings uh, springs and other small small uh, rivers and all the rivers you can see not only the rivers and also the rivers which is actually uh, make the environment very clean and green you can see the pictures that how beautiful it was before 19th century and because of all these uh, different type of streams we can have a beautiful uh, waterfalls so there are a lot of a uh, lot of waterfalls uh, has been present throughout the uh, uh, globally there are several beautiful waterfalls are there here also you can see uh, how much uh, the environment was occupied before 19th century so then we can also have at the uh, basis of uh, ganga we can have that uh, plentiful uh, reservoirs of uh, drinking water you can see that uh, rishikes uh, the uh, the mouth uh, ganga where we can see the plenty of uh, yeah very good and clean water with the background environment clean environment which are all uh, which are all uh, was evident during the 19th century and also the environment based upon the water uh, through the rivers uh, we can also store uh, build some kind of dams so you can see that the metro dam how beautiful it was uh, very early days and uh, you can see the mangroves very beautifully the mangroves which is also giving a ecosystem mangrove ecosystem is also having a playing a major role during the uh, tsunami how much uh, it has been protected during the tsunami uh, as a scientist and as a, a professor or uh, the academicians you may very well know about the uh, effect of that uh, mangrove forest and also deep uh, rain forest you can see the tropical forest and uh, based upon this environment we have also enjoyed the sceneries with uh, constructing some kind of boat house uti kodaikanal erkad that uh, dal lake like that uh, we are also enjoying the nature in early 19 and you can see that um, some islands with pure and clean water and with the environment everything was very clear uh, at the early 19th century because of the clean and green water reservoir and the pure environment the person or the people can able to drink water directly the available drinking water in the before uh, or during the 19th century and uh, now what is the actually happened what is actually happened right now we have so far seen till 19th century now the 20th 20th late 20th and 21st century we are we are also facing a wonder very uh, in all kind of manner we are facing uh, continuously trouble we can see that the mountain which is having occupied full of debris it is not uh, because of all uh, trekking uh in the people who is uh, try to climbing for the forest uh, everest mountain they are uh, actually dumping a lot of uh, debris in the snowfall and everything so that the mountain is continuously polluting and you can see that uh, the mountain uh, instead of uh, streams and valley that now the instead of water the streams and valley is now occupied with uh, fulls of uh, pl plastic bottles and papers and all the uh, non disposable non degradable matter 
so these are all based upon mainly based upon the tourism activities so we need to give some kind of uh, measure to avoid this kind of uh, pollution in the uh, nature and you can also see that uh, uh, kodaikanal lake how it was been polluted at one end so the people going for the excursion or the tour they simply throw all the water bottle food materials whatever it may be available in their hand they dump it in their water reservoir so that water is polluted and you can see that this is the pilgrimage activity at the ganga uh, kasi kasi where you can see a lot of uh, the garlands uh, plastic papers and everything so the ganga river was completely polluted right now so it is actually not uh, palatable uh, water right now and you can see uh, the boat which is all not uh, moving with the water it is actually moving in between the plastic sources so this is the actual condition right now previously you have seen in my one of my slide a children which is directly drinking water in the water reservoirs now we can see is it possible to drink this water uh, it is very it is not possible and also you cannot even walk through the uh, reservoir right now without any kind of protection because uh, the water sources which is actually completely uh, filled with a lot of chemical and uh, dangerous uh, sources which are all present in the water reservoir so completely the world environment has been polluted mountain is polluted river is polluted the lake is polluted and uh, what are all the things which are all available healthy during 19th century which are all completely polluted okay so you can see that the mangrove ecosystem it was completely polluted by the uh, plastic uh, once again so that what happened the mangrove which is actually gradually degraded and lost their habitat so if the mangroves has been lost their habitat actually what happened the during the tsunami it will not protect our the and the people who are uh, who are all residing throughout the uh, back side of that uh, oceans so that will be the case and the deforestation again another important problem we are uh, losing many plants so that we are losing water uh, water sources pure carbon dioxide and everything so far we have seen two different uh, wide uh, angle one is before 19th century you have clean air clean water clean environment and uh, during the end of 21st century we are having almost all kind of pollution ac activities because of the environmental crisis all the crisis all the contaminations all the activity has been because of human activity why the human activity has been taken place is because of the first and the primary important point is overpopulation can able to see this slide the slide which contains a, a small uh, um, place where the mumbai where it is actually taken in the mumbai every day you can see this is the uh, day to day problem in mumbai uh, train you can see only one station one compartment you can see how many people are standing all these people not only using this uh, train and other uh, uh, transport system imagine this uh, 50% of the people waiting for the train and during the travel time they used to take uh, some kind of uh, packet uh, ready made packet items which are all available very famously uh, in mumbai that means uh, haldiram packets especially 5 rupees or 10 rupees packet which is uh, and also a small bottle containing uh, uh, one once used uh, uh, cool drinks so imagine that 50 percent of uh, people taking cool drinks and throwing that uh, bottle and also taking snacks and throwing the cover only one station like that uh, the whole mumbai alone there will be a uh, more than three to five crore water bottles and paper bundles uh, that means the dust uh, and the packets uh, which are all uh, uh, thrown away, away to uh, throughout the uh, railway track so this is only scenario only one uh, place mumbai imagine that whole india and the whole world so that is the problem you can see that the previously i have shown one picture there is a mountain which is actually beautifully uh, covered with a lot of trees you cannot even see find a single tree completely constructed houses so that uh, all the houses which are constructed then 
there will be a lot of sewage problem. You can see that the market, which is actually again taken in the Mumbai city, Mumbai market. Then we can see that uh, automobile, that uh, car and two wheelers, which are all polluting the gas, emitting the pollutions, carbon monoxide, other kind of uh, the uh, pollutants, which are all completely uh, destroying the environment. So because of the overpopulation, the environment is now under a very critical crisis. These environmental issues are harmful effects of only human activities, not by the any kind of animals. Imagine only due to the human activities because they are the because of its overpopulation. So overpopulation, the people need to have some kind of uh, uh, shelter, that means uh, houses, and they need to have some kind of food material and other material throughout. Uh, they continuously develop some kind kind of continuous uh, industrialization process so that the, now the world become uh, really, really under environmental crisis. If the people are not taking a proper control measures, then our future generation will be a question mark. So let us see the main features of the environment. There are a lot of uh, things are there. One by one, I am going to give. So first one is climatic change. The second one is uh, air quality change. The third one is water quality change. The th uh, fourth one is land contamination. Fifth one is deforestation. Sixth one is biodiversity. So there are a lot of uh, issues are there. I am giving only major six important criteria which are all responsible for the environmental crisis. The first one is the climatic change and the global warming. Because of the overpopulation and the human activity, now the world become more warmer and warmer. Due to that warmer and also due to that uh, uh, the climatic change, the temperature has been rises day by day. So that what happened actually ultimately due to the temperature which is actually raising uh, the global warm, that means the earth is, is actually continuously heating because of the burning of fuel, agricultural deforestation, industrial process, all these things as I already told. And also due to that coal mining activity, so a lot of uh, there are uh, activities which are all responsible for the, um, the heat generation. Because of the heat generation, the earth which will actually warmer and warmer. Due to that earth warmer, what happened automatically, there will be a one side is the globe which is actually warming, the other side, the snow, the glaciers, which are all present in the polar region, continuously melting. So that is the another major issues for the last 50 years we are facing. And another 50 years we are going to see a critical kind of melting. So due to that critical kind of melting of the glaciers, what happened automatically when the glaciers of melting, there will be a sea level rise. Okay, the level of sea, which is actually raised every 10 years or 15 years, what happened automatically due to the sea level raising, what happened? The ocean, which is actually slowly enter into the major cities. So after uh, 2050, you can see there is a small kind of uh, light uh, blue color border. So the, that means the cities which are all present in that uh, blue color border, which will be going to be a major threat during the during 2050 and there will not be any cities during 2100. OK, so because all because of the melting of uh, uh, glaciers, that means ice, which is also present in the North Pole so that the water, which is actually raised uh, slowly, very even though very slowly, on uh, accumulation of five years or 10 years period. So there will be one feet or two feet. So continuously it will be uh, submerging the uh, cities, major cities in the reservoir uh, uh, nearby the oceans. So this is the only case for the India. Likewise, you can imagine the whole world, which is actually going to sink in 2000. So major, almost all the major cities, two third of the major cities going to sink in the water during 2000. So as I already told, the globe is warming due to the human activity. And in general, we can see that the sun, which is actually emitting some, the rays. 
so the rays which is actually di directly hit by the earth and also some of the rays hit by the earth which is actually reflected back so the reflected back which is not continue uh, all compulsive all 100% uh, not going back to the atmo uh, above the atmosphere because of the atmosphere here it is actually polluted by the so many activities of human being that means the human being which are all continuously uh, using the cfc that means uh, refrigerator uh, air conditioned uh, and all kind of other industrialization process and the nitrogen access uh, gasoline uh, and also all kind of agriculture activities the methane emission due to that cattle cattle and fertilizer production and the carbon dioxide which is also uh, from uh, oil and coal and also a lot of automobiles as uh, we have seen in the previous slide a uh, lot of uh, gases which are all emitted all the gases which are all absorbed in the atmospheres so that what happened these uh, uh, absorbed uh, gases which are all not allowing this reflected back the uh, sun rays so that it is actually making uh, the earth more warmer so that due to the more warmer there will be a continuous increasing of the heat so uh, probably this year you might have seen there will be a lot of uh, uh, the warmer region during the summer days uh, when compared to the earlier uh, before so th this is all because of uh, the global uh, warming and also uh, one side as i already told that the earth is uh, warming so due to that earth is warming there will be a continuous there will be a, the earth which is actually or the environment actually what happened changing invariably one said there is a lot of uh, rainfall which is actually happened every year uh, chennai people has been witnessed during the uh, december you can see all the houses which are all submerged so the people uh, the car and the automobiles uh, everything you see is actually submerged the people uh, migrated from one place to another place because of the heavy rainfall and also you can see on the other side the agriculture land so the agriculture the crop which is continuously submerged sudden rainfall so not even one day uh, not even 10 days or 20 days uh, within a day or two the rainfall nowadays uh, falling like a, uh, there will be a term called a cloud burst so there will be a lot of cloud burst which are all happen in the environment so that what happened the agriculture field as well as the human reservoirs the place where the human and uh, animals which are all living has been submerged other on the other hand as i already told the other part of the world which is actually completely completely facing the extreme dot so one one, one side there will be a extreme uh, rainfall the other side there will be extreme dot uh, drought condition so really these two extreme condition because of the the global climatic changes so why the global climatic changes it is because of all 100 percent human activity so that will be the case okay so because of the extreme drought so there will be a uh, water uh, sources not available for the human being as well as the animals you can see the lot of animals which are all died because of the absence of water so that means water, uh, the, uh, due to that uh, uh, the cattle die the farmers the cattle the growers and the farmers who are all residing the place they are uh, migrating their place one place to another place as a refugees so that will be there then other other case there will be a declining of the crop productivity agriculture crop productivity because one side there is a heavy rain so that all the crop has been submerged the other side there is a hundred percent drop so there is a no single drop of water so that again there will be agriculture activity has been the crop has been not received any kind of even single drop of water so due to that complete extreme conditions the agricultural productivity has been uh, go declined day by day apart from this the climatic changes uh, the human being also uh, affected by cold fever loose motion vomiting uh, joint pains hip problem eye problem and all these things so that was the case for uh, the global warming of uh, that environment 
all these things because of the human activity second we move to the environmental pollution you might have aware about the all kind of pollutions which are all present in the nature we pollute our rivers lake ocean and sky what are all the sources are purely available all we are polluting based upon for what means based upon for our need okay for our need only we are using all these things but we are uh, over exploiting the nature so that uh, we are forgetting that what we we need water air live and breathe so that is the conditions so in general there will be a, a six different type of pollutions are there one is soil pollution water pollution air pollution noise pollution radiation pollution and thermal pollution and among all these uh, six uh, this may the top three is uh, the top most uh, activity which is actually making the environment in under very critical conditions soil pollution water pollution and air pollution now coming to the air pollution it is because of the burning of fuel fossil fuel automobile uh, automobiles and the transport and the industries you can see the burning of uh, fossil fuels because of the coal what we are uh, using to take the coal from the mining activity and the natural gases oils uh, due to that these are all uh, activity because of uh, we are need more coal and more oil more natural gases uh, so there are lot of burning of uh, fossil fuel emissions you can see that uh, the carbon dioxide uh, the emissions the completely the atmosphere has been polluted and also industrialization lot of industries so uh, every product uh, every day to day activity the human being is depending upon many uh, based upon the industrial industrial product only so industry on their part also polluting the environment okay so then other side the automobiles uh, as i already told that also polluting the air and you can see the forest fire because of the severe drought several forest which are all uh, continuously fire making some kind of fire so that what happened very good uh, medicinal plants has been destroyed as well as the atmosphere has been polluted on the other side you can see this corner due to that agriculture activity the farmers used to uh, make uh, the fire uh, with the uh, the harvested plant especially during the haryana punjab the people after the rice or wheat harvesting they used to uh, burn the uh, the straw because the straw which is not uh, useful uh, not uh, not at all uh, used for the uh, cow for it is not actually palatable because of the it is uh, highly contain the selenium and the min the, uh, the minerals which is actually present high content of the uh, chemical which are all present in the straw but in the south region especially tamil nadu after harvesting we are using uh, this straw for uh, uh as a feed purpose because this is a the straw which is actually useful for the cattle feed uh, because it is actually having an optimal level of selenium in that thing but in the punjab and haryana the content which is actually more so that the farmers continuously uh, burning this uh, agricultural field so that what happened there will be a lot of uh, the pollution the climate that means the place uh, delhi you can see in recent years has been polluted very heavily so due to that that uh, government has been taken lot of uh, measures to control the pollution so sometimes also uh, the automobiles with the registration number uh, based upon odd number and even number so they gave weekly three days only the odd number uh, vehicle can be Uh, run in the road and also the even number another three days like that they they are trying to reduce the pollution so now the delhi is one of the worst condition worst place to live because you can see a part of the uh, that means the, the gateway of india and the sorry the india gate which is actually polluted a part other side you can see a clean and a, a pure uh, environment so this is the condition not only delhi so the second hand uh, chennai also we are going to face very recently it has been reached the above, <coughs> above the tolerable limit and also in near future this will be the major criteria in chennai also
and coming to due to the air pollution so there is another important thing the acid rain you might have seen that acid rain which is actually the emission of uh, different type of uh, gases sulfur dioxide nitrogen dioxide these all gases which are all dissolved in the what happened uh, dissolved in the rain water so that uh, the rain water which is actually fall down as a acid rain so this acid rain which is actually kill the plankton polluted river tree stream and other water reservoir and also affect the human health especially it cause allergy headache and uh, lung problem many uh, skin cancers especially skin cancer is a very uh, uh, emerging field uh, due to that uh, acid rain okay that is also based upon the uh, air pollution now coming to the water pollution as i already told so we are polluting the water reservoirs whether it may be a stream pond lake uh, river ocean whatever it may be we are polluting the water so that the water is not palatable uh, for drinking okay the water pollution mainly because of the domestic sewage municipal sewage and agriculture activity and also some kind of radioactive substances you can see these are all some kind of uh, uh, activities which are all causing the pollution first one is the picture shows the sewage water especially uh, released from the houses so continuously these is a small small uh, sewage water entering and pool together to enter into the small stream and uh, it will ditches and it will be collected by the ditches and finally it will be released in the uh, either river or lake or otherwise ocean and also other side you can see the bathing of cattle so that uh, they are polluting the environment that means water and using large uh, pesticide and fertilizer so that what happened during that uh, raining season so that all the fertilizer and pesticide which are all washed away run off and it will be reaching the, uh, to lake and rivers you can also see the people used to wash the clothes and to take the bath and also dumping the uh, household articles there itself you can see that the uh, dumping the trashes especially uh, wherever that uh, uh, the river mouth is there that all the river mouth is polluted especially do, uh, by the pilgrimage uh, activities so the the people used to go, go and take the bath and they used to throw all the debris that means their cloth and garlands and the, the, some kind of uh, plastic okay whatever the plastic bottles they are carrying simply they are throwing so that what happened the the water which is actually contaminated on the other side effluents from the factory directly releasing to the environment so that will be the another case of continuous pollution uh, that means water pollution especially when you might have seen in the kaveri river where that uh, palli volume uh, that means in near uh, erod uh, junction that a uh, lot of uh, dying factory which are all directly releasing the uh, that means uh, the effluents so that all the effluents which is containing a toxic material which are all mixed with the water reservoir you can see that water pure water but continuously missing of this uh, sewage water and the effluents from the factory the, uh, the aquatic organism like fishes, microplankton, zooplankton, uh, uh, other kind of submerged plants which are all destroyed and the water which is actually carrying away a lot of uh, uh, toxic chemicals. So again, the people uh, taking for uh, drinking and actually continuously uh, contaminated and affected by the pollutions. Okay. So the effect of pollution which is actually uh, it is actually a lot of pathogenic bacteria and the virus may cause because of the water pollution. That means uh, typhoid, polio, uh, poliomyelitis and uh, amoebiasis and eutropication, thermal population, all these things which are all present. And because of the water, uh, which is actually contaminated during that uh, the river uh, mouth, uh, there are uh, 25 million refuges uh, were displaced by contaminated water. So early 19th century, you might have, you may know that uh, uh, the human civilization starts wherever the water reservoirs were there. Sindhu Samavali Nagarigam, Adupola Nerea Nagarigam Pathrupanama. The Nagarigam Thondra Yapona, Yenganga water sources, 
அங்க மட்டும்தான் நாகரீகம் தோன்ற ஆரம்பிச்சது நம்ம படிச்சிருப்போம் பட் த சேம் நவ் இட் ஹாஸ் பீன் டேர்ன் பேக் எங்கெங்கெல்லாம் வாட்டர் ரிசர்வாயர்ஸ் இருக்கோ அங்கங்கிருந்து பீப்புள் தே ஆர் ட்ரை டு மைக்ரேட் ஃப்ரம் இன்டீரியர் பார்ட் பிகாஸ் தே ஆர் நாட் ஹேவிங் ஏ பேலட்டபிள் வாட்டர் அண்ட் and they are not uh, having some kind of pure water to drink and uh, for the uh, other kind of purposes every year there will be a 20 million refugees were taken uh, due to that soil pollution as i already told uh, the third one is uh, soil pollution apart from the water pollution soil also polluted by several uh, chemical especially agricultural activity due to that agricultural activity that uh, top soil which is actually losing their nutrients so that because of the losing their nutrients the plant which is actually uh, removing that soil erosion has been taken place so that the uh, top soil which is are all losing their humus so the plant which is are all growing will uh, drastically reduces and also because of the tsunami or otherwise the sea level rises the water enter into the nearby cities or nearby that uh, uh the mouth of uh, oceans so that what happened it's completely destroying all kind of agricultural activity you can see that once the water enter into the agriculture field it is actually continuously not usable so that is a condition of soil which is actually destroying and urban waste so our people especially you might have been witnessed that uh, chennai people not only chennai people all the people which are all present in the chennai uh, the in the urban cities they are polluting their land like anything so simply they are throwing and the uh, land which is actually contaminated then industrial waste so lot of industrial product not only effluent but also other unused product including plastic bag the kanni bags and all the materials which are all uh, uh, thrown away in the soil so that what happen the soil is also polluted and the oil and petroleum spill this is another case of uh, uh, water contaminations the that means the soil which is actually contaminated so what you need to do so we have to take care of all these kind of messes so that we can able to prevent diarrhea vomiting typhoid diphtheria hepatitis kidney damage nerve disorder skin lesions so all these things we can able to eliminate if we are taking care of our the land land air and water so in recent uh, one of the recent study which is has been uh, taken for the uh, major cities so out of two third of the people which are all affected by the uh, either small or major uh, kidney disorders okay this was the happen this was the recent report two third people are affected by the kidney disorders or symptoms either it's mild or the heavy level so this is the alarming nature we have to take care of our health by preventing our the environment so that will be the nature that we have to take a measure and also the third point deforestation as i already told one in one of the slide deforestation because of the deforestation what happened we are losing the plant because of we are losing the plant the atmosphere is actually not able to give lot of oxygen the supplying oxygen demand is continuously stop that is the one case the another case the rain so the rainfall which is actually drastically reduced and also the third one the the biodiversity the organism both animal and human being the declining which is also happened due to the deforestation so deforestation again which is also contaminated the the soil and uh, it is actually responsible for the soil erosion and uh, loss of fertility and it uh, actually disturb the hydrological cycle that means the rain and also there will be a lot of plants animal and wild species has been destroyed and in a case uh, you can see uh, the dam building activity a lot of ecological balance imbalance was created because once we are starting for the construction of uh, national highways or uh, constructing dam uh, there are several uh, uh, demerits which are all present here uh, here there is an example a total of 1 lakh 44 731 hectares of land 
is submerged by Sardar Sarovar Dam in Gujarat. So this much of more than 150 hectares, 150 lakhs of hectares are submerged. Among the 150 lakhs, 56 thousand uh, fifty five hundred and forty seven hectares of forest which are all destroyed because of only one activity that means under the construction of dam of course i am accepting that the construct of dam it is also necessary for the human being but on the other side also we have to take care of the environment to avoid this kind of uh, the losses which are all what we are uh, creating by construction of uh, dams as well as natural uh, that means national highways so that we have to take uh, care of and the other one is a uh, loss of biodiversity as previously i told if there is a lot of bio uh, deforestation is taken place lot of animals and uh, plants that uh, all the submerged including the submerged uh, uh, coral and other uh, small small uh, planktons everything which are all lost there uh, life because if these are all interconnected and this uh, each animal sir, excuse, yes, yes. Sir, yes excuse yes. me yes voice the breaking sir voice breaking hello can you hear me your voice sir Yes, yes, yes. And uh, coming to the loss of uh, biodiversity. So even you can see some of the animals, even a single animal, if it is not there, then the life, uh, that means the food chain, which is actually lost. Here you can see uh, deer, if it is not present, what happened? The primary uh, carnivores, if it is not there, then the car sorry the carnivores completely will be washed away then the land which is actually breaking the food chain so that what happened uh, ultimately the environment under crisis so that what happened the loss of biodiversity which is actually uh, losing their food because of the food production decreasing continuously that is the one thing then because of the biodiversity loss and we are uh, trying to, that means the spreading of diseases, lot of diseases which can able to spread through animal and also plant also spreading their uh, through one plant to another Excuse plant. Me. Yes. Can you hear me? Your voice not clear, sir. It's breaking. Is it clear? Anybody else? Sorry, madam. Okay, 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 man. So, because of the biodiversity loss, the food production that means the decreasing growth of fruit crops and the nutrient level of food is gradually decreases. The spreading of diseases, loss of habitat, lot of species. Uh, not only the human being, but also the wild, uh, wildlife animals which are uh, losing their habitat so that they are migrating from one place to another place. So that what happened, there will be a lot of competitions will be happen place during the migration. And there are a lot of uh, natural disorders has been taken place. Uh, as I already told, flood, drought, apart from this fire, forest fire, earthquake, these are all evident because of the biodiversity loss. Then pollution, as I already told, the soil pollution, air pollution, water pollution, everything, it is unhealthy for the environment and the economic effect. So there are, because of that biodiversity loss, we are losing more valuable product which are all received from the forest or we received from the animal sources. So uh, you, you can imagine that uh, honey, which are all we are receiving from the honey bees, because of the biodiversity loss, that means the flowering plant, if it is not there, so we are declining the productivity of the honey from the honey bee, so that we are losing the honey. And the timber, because of the continuous deforestation, we are losing the timber and we are losing the water and many plants which are all destroying because of the biodiversity losses. So now that uh, question has been arises, uh which earth do you want to live in 
so so far we have seen uh, early 19th century now recent days what are all the uh, problem which has been affected so whether we want to live in a good environment or we want to be live in a critical conditions okay that could be the question obviously our answer is we need to live in a good environment so that we need to protect our earth so that our earth is need our help not any other animals help so our earth is uh, need our help so there will be a lot of ways to protect the environment so all the people join together to uh, jointly protect the environment so that we can able to uh, conserve the environment so that it will be back to again it will be slowly regenerate with uh, the water air and the other material so that this is the case of uh, some five important point uh, i'm going to discuss the one is uh, conservation of water you can see one one uh, side there will be a lot of people they are struggling to take even a small packet of water but on the other side you can see a uh, plentiful waters are available with uh, the uh, star hotels and other people are enjoying the water so that this this uh, extreme controversy has been we have to be changed so that it has to be utilized for uh, all people should have the equal uh, right to have the water and air land all these things okay so how we can able to reduce you can see even small drop of leaking water in your uh, houses in your colleges and in your offices whatever it may be a single drop of water leakage in the tap we can able to save 75 76 liters okay so per day 76 liters per day imagine the whole cities the whole uh, india the whole world now and uh, some of the other kind of activity while taking uh, brushing our teeth some people again still we are having opened the tap and continuously running and taking their teeth uh, that means uh, the brushing their teeth that means if you are uh, open the tap tap water running tap water and if you are uh, taking uh, uh, brushing at least two minutes you are uh, wasting 12 liters of water rather than if you are taking a small mug which contains only 0.5 liters so that it, you can able to avoid one day that means uh, one uh, 11.5 liters of water one human being in, in um, multiply into the whole world okay so such a kind of activity small small activity we can able to reduce and also the sour bath again sour bath again another important problem suppose your sour can throw 40 to 60 liters of water okay so it you for every minute so it is using if you are taking bath with the server every minute you are using approximately 40 liters of water but rather than if you are using the bucket water only 20 liters so that you can able to uh, reduce uh, 60 to 100 liters of water per person in houses so you may multiple into 100 liters per person into 700 crore uh, people the crore uh, throughout the world so that much of amount we can able to save and also a single load of laundry which consume 40 gallons 40 one gallons is, which is equal to 50 liters of water so the 200 liters of water we are going to waste with the laundry so that we have to use as much as possible we can use a hand wash which is actually more uh, economical because the clothes are very safe and also very bright and also you are consuming more water so within uh, 20 to 40 liters or approximately 60 liters you can able to wash the cloth but uh, while using the uh, that means the washing machine you will you have to use 20 liters or otherwise if the aged people if the people are not healthy if they want to again if, to, uh, if they want to use the laundry that means the uh, wash basin we have to use with complete capacity so that we can avoid the water wastage then the flush water the flush water again the another major is a major causes of uh, water losses there will be 30 percent of household water has been wasted every flush okay so that we have to avoid these kind of flushes by using a absorbable uh, a brick 
which are all available in the market so that you can able to insert the brick in that uh, tank so that it will be you can able to uh, save 10 million liters of water per day okay and also the rain harvesting that is another one important thing rain harvesting it has been already implemented by the tamil nadu government but we uh, we have to be little care about and we have to improve the system again so that you can see that a lot of water reservoirs we can available plentiful and also we have to recycle the water so that we can able to use the water as much as possible the second concern is energy conservation energy conservation again is the most important thing and we have to use the energy energy conservation in natural way so uh, by using the solar energy so solar energy nowadays uh, gradually the importance and the construction of solar plant which has been growing slowly improving so we have to utilize the natural reservoirs as for the day-to-day -day activity of home that means using for refrigerator tv uh, fridges washing machine and the lamp whatever it may be and also you have to use uh, the wind sources as a reservoir for the producing the electricity so nowadays uh, that's uh, india little bit having some kind of uh, electric problem because of the coal not available the availability of the coal is very less so that the electricity is also having some problem so that you have to go for the alternate uh, sustainable utilization for the energy sources by using the natural sources and also uh, we have to use the green energy uh for uh, uh that means the thermal energy instead of thermal energy you can go for the the natural sources so that will also then then coming to the third point food we should not waste the food because without the food we cannot able to live the demand for food is increasing every day-to-day -day activity because of one side the population increase the other side the and the productivity has been decreased so that we have to avoid the food material and also you can see that eat less meat it is actually uh, make out make one or even two of your days meat free in a uh, week so why we, we need to we are telling that avoid meat uh, all the six days or seven days because for uh, growing uh, cattle or pig or uh, that uh, chicken uh, the all uh, the animals which are all taking enormous amount of water for construction of uh, the these kind of animal uh, for drinking as well as for feeding purpose we are uh, spending more and more uh, millions of liters of water so that if you are avoiding this kind of product so that we can able to minimize the water quality eat good organic food so that we can able to reduce the pesticide in the field okay so for that what happened we need to grow more trees okay so why we need to grow more trees means it is actually giving ecological balance of nature which is actually control the climate by giving a pure water and also it is actually responsible for land and uh, which is actually giving a cooling of the atmosphere all these things are because of the uh, water so that what we have to do avoid printing more paper so nowadays that is also one of the common concept so we have to use uh, uh, the paper printing nowadays uh, railway department also taking care of uh, not uh, uh, pasting their uh, chart in that uh, each uh, coupe okay that was in earlier days uh, there will be a, each uh, the cabin there will be a uh, printed paper has been pasted now it has been avoided to to save the water uh, paper and also ta stop using wooden decoratives so if you are you stop using wooden decorative definitely so we the deforestation activity will be reduced and also don't keep paper towel in your houses so that so that will also lot of plants which are all using like that there are several points which are all there to save the trees and coming to the other important point the cost of oxygen that is very very interesting uh, in a day human being be, uh, breathing oxygen equivalent to three cylinder every human being taking three cylinder uh, equivalent of oxygen uh, suppose a, a cylinder which is cost about 700 rupees that means 
three three into seven hundred. That means two thousand hundred rupees we are spending to consume the oxygen, pure oxygen. Okay, so the whole year seven lakh sixty six thousand and fifty hundred rupees we are say, spending, and the cost of oxygen approximately for fifty sixty five years up to we are living means we are utilizing rupees fifty million. Rupees of uh, uh, amount of oxygen we are consuming. So this much of amount, which is actually naturally available, so that we have to reduce the pollution and grow the more trees for the rain and pure air. So that that is the most important. We have to uh, plant a tree today itself. Plant a tree today itself, or otherwise, what happen automatically? In near future, this is the condition we are going to have. This is especially 2015 or 100. This is the critical condition. Definitely, the people going to have uh, take a luggage with uh, oxygen. This will be happen. So that this is the right time to each one of you, those who are listening this uh, webinar, uh, plant a tree and conserve a tree. Don't go for the deforestation. Then coming to the plastic pollution. So there are lot of uh, plastics which are all uh, produced every year. Five hundred million plastic bags are uh, produced, and everything which are all just thrown away as already shown in some of the pictures. In one statement, you can see it is expected that in twenty fifty there will be more plastic than fish in the ocean. So this is the condition. In two thousand, after two thousand fifty, if the fisherman go and uh, take for the go and for uh, taking the uh, fishing activity, he could uh, collect only the uh, plastic, not the fishes or any other crab and other things. So that is the conditions you can see because of the plastic. So all the animals, the water that means the turtle, uh, the that means all cattle, bird, elephant. All and the including pieces which are all consuming uh, unknowingly it consuming and swallowing the food material that means uh, plastic so that the uh, the animals which are all dying so that we have to ban the plastic so that will be uh, a good sources the then we can use that means uh, how to ban the pl plastic means uh, bring your own shopping bag. Use your reusable bottle like that. There are a lot of things which we can use uh, to reduce the plastic uh, things, so that we might have been uh, reduce the pollution activity. And finally, uh, there will be a one caption that it means three R of the environment. Three R, three R means R R R. That means refuse, reduce, and recycle. So this is the three R, and uh, the first one is reduce. How to reduce means. So we are we are going uh, for shopping means only buy only what you need. So don't uh, dump all this cabin and you have to don't purchase all these things. Only whatever you need that only you have to purchase and choose product with less packing. Okay, some of the products which are all more packing. For example, the vegetables which are all. Uh, sold in the roadside, they are not uh, having any kind of plastic bag uh, packing. But uh, at the same time, the vegetables which are all packed and kept in the freezer in the uh, supermarket, okay, in the mall and the supermarket, completely wrapped and packed. There will be a, a plastic paper, and at the bottom you can see thermocool paper. Okay, so if you are taking fruit in the roadside. You can able to avoid this kind of plastic things, and if you are taking, if you are purchasing in the shopping mall, definitely you are the one of the uh, reason for polluting this environment. So that is the condition, and also bulk purchase. So definitely you have to go for the bulk purchase so that the number of time you are uh, going from your home to the respective place will be reduced. That means the uh, using vehicles, which is actually reduced, and other activities also, you can reduce the uh, pollution. And also, if there is any excess food is there, you have to donate. 
don't simply throw it you have to donate the food material to the orphanage so that the orphanage will also take the food material so that the food is not destroying and we can also save the environment so that is that there now in recent days there is a culture in our uh, human being there is a lot of small small bottles are there small uh, cool drinks are there. use and throw 100 ml use and throw bottles are available nowadays day to day it is actually uh, blooming like anything so so what we are taking including fruity mango uh, and other uh, sprite whatever it may be they are uh, having a small small bottle 50 ml and 100 ml what we are actually we are consuming direct day, day by day consuming and just to throw all the uh, juices there itself so that uh, millions and millions of small small water bottle only because of taking fruit juices itself we are polluting the environment rather so that to avoid these things go for natural fresh juice so that what happened so you are avoiding all kind of pollutions and also these glasses can be we can wash and we can also reuse that is another condition then the second one is refuse we have to refuse the pollu uh, some of the material uh, that means that the refusable product you will be uh, refusable product means you have to use and use again and again okay once used product don't purchase any kind of once used product you have to use wash or clean then you have to use for example your uh, food uh, food packet and other things has been continuously usable and also other food materials from the kitchen side waste food materials and other materials you can able to uh, convert it into composite so that you can also uh, produce the manure and also no need to purchase the fertilizer chemical fertilizers and you can also grow a terrestrial garden so that you can able to grow your own fruit in your own home itself so that you can avoid the pollution one side and also other side you are reducing the uh, cost of purchasing the vegetables so that will be the case and also as i already told what are all the things in your home uh, if you are not uh, using that product or the toys, whatever it may be, uh, donate it for the person who is actually necessary. Okay. Suppose, for example, old uh, unused the teddy bear and other things. If you are having, then you can also use uh, give to the give as a donation to others so that they will also use till the last, so that uh, no need to dump once again and again. And also uh, the party items. Some uh, sometimes what happen uh, like Aida Puja and other uh, birthday functions. We are purchasing many product. So once we are using, then what happen? Everything we are dumping into the uh, dustbin. So you have to go for party items. That means a rent. You can purchase as a rent so that you can use you cannot uh, throw once the party is over so that you can able to reuse or you can able to minimize the pollution as i already told the tamil Nadu government insisted that uh, manjapai so manjapai so there will be a, a it will be a very great uh, effort uh, to con uh, to control the pollution so because uh, it is actually uh, reducing lot of polythene packs in the natural environment you have seen previously one of many of the slides there are a lot of plastic carry bags has been thrown away in the soil thrown away in the uh, water and has been uh, fired so that the air which is also contaminated so that use the, the gunny bag or cloth bag so that you can able to reduce the pollution and also diaper so coming to the other thing there will be a diapers nowadays it is a fashion for using diaper so if you are using diaper that means uh, uh, 50 tons of wood pulp were used to produce the diapers disposable diapers so once used diaper has been used uh, many uh, plant product to convert these things uh, and also it will be causing uh, the pollutions soil pollution and if it reaches to the water it will also cause the uh, water pollution so that what happened you can use the cloth instead of diapers you can use the cloth uh, 
to remove that uh, uh, all the other material so that you can wash and you can use the thing so by the way you can reduce the uh, pollution and also using the energy uh, energy star rated uh, bulb five star there in, in the market in the appliances there will be a star mark is there use only uh, five star rating so that we can we can reduce the energy sources and also we can also avoid that uh, the bulb which has been used in earlier days so re replacing the earlier days bulb into the led bulb led bulb so that we can reduce the uh, energy sources okay and apart from this we have to uh, donate what are all the things which are all we are having extra don't dump it into the uh, soil or don't dump it into the water you can donate into the orphanage system so that we can mi minimize the uh, natural sources okay we can minimize the thing then the final thing recycle the final slide is a recycle whatever the things we have to there you can have go for the recycling thing so we, we have to recycle the cardboard paper food boxes mail uh, that means uh, beverages food items and all the items we have to go for the recycle and for these things only we have to go for or we have to buy product made with recycled content so take the uh, wherever if you are going for the purchase make this uh, simple if the simple is there then you can able to buy because only the product contain the simple which is actually having the recycle capacity the other product which are all not having the recycling because you can able to dump nature so that will we can able to avoid these kind of things so that we have to minimize the pollution so that lot of things i have uh, discussed so far so using uh, conserve water uh, conserve the natural reservoir and grow more trees and don't waste the food material and don't uh, le uh, uh, leak the water through your uh, tap water and shower, taking care of shower and brushing teeth using washing machine and everything step by step if you are using starting from your individual part from your thing and you can able to spread your neighbor in your home and your neighbor then you we can able also minimizing the pollution at a huge difference okay huge difference that's why we cannot change the past imagine that we cannot change the past but we can still change the future by the individual activity what are all the things so, uh, so far i have discussed by your own individual activity take small small kind of activity purchasing go for purchasing with the, the yellow bag that means manjal pai which is also giving a which is also a turning a turn back of the uh, revert back of the healthy environment so everyone join together to uh, make a clean and green environment as a part of uh, the environmental day celebration i am happy to uh, deliver this lecture and also i am thankful one and all for uh, patiently watching my deliver for this last uh, uh, one hour thank you one, once again thank you for the organizer for uh, calling me as a uh, chief guest to deliver the lecture on environmental crisis uh, do, uh, on uh, behalf of the SAP team. Thank you, madam. Thank you once again. Thank you, sir. It was more informative and valuable and got clear idea that how to protect our environment. In chat box, you have link for feedback form for the purpose of certificate. It's time to give over the valuable thanks to each and everyone who made this event a grand success. I would like to call Mrs. S. Sudha ma'am for vote of thanks. Excuse me, Sudha ma'am. Mic, mic. Good evening, everyone.
I feel privileged to propose a vote of thanks on this August occasion. I thank the Almighty God for making today's event a resounding success. I would like to thank our chief guest, Dr. M. Jay Kumar, Assistant Professor, Department of Zoology, University of Madras, Gindi Campus, for sparing his valuable time for us and gracing this event. Today, we had an opportunity to hear your thoughts, and this will surely encourage us and enable us to be eco friendly citizens by changing the future. Sir, your thoughts have enlightened our minds and showed us a new path. Thank you, sir. I profusely thank Madam Principal Dr. G. Prema Sundari for the constant support and guidance given by us, given to us. An event like this requires meticulous planning. We are fortunate to have a proactive team consisting of the convener, organizing secretaries, and the committee members who are responsible for making this event happen. I express my gratitude for their tireless efforts in making this webinar a grand success. I'm thankful to the teaching and non-teaching staff members of Shift 1 and 2 for the support extended by them. I also thank the students of Shift 1 and 2 for their active participation in the webinar. I express my gratitude to the technical support provided by Mr. Pradyun G.S. and Mr. Hanivan G.S. of Prahan Chemistry for the assistance provided in the live broadcast in YouTube. Once again, I thank all for your cordial cooperation. Thank you. Now let's all raise up for the national anthem. पंजाब सिंध गुजरात मराठा द्राविड उत्कल बंगा विंध्य हिमाचल यमुना गंगा उच्चल जलधि तरंगा तब सुबह नामे जागे तब सुबह आशीष मागे तागे तब से यदादा जनहन मनाजिनायक जय हे भारत भाग्य विदादा जय हे जय हे जय 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 हे 